Good afternoon, my dear friends. What a wonderful occasion to be back with each and every one of you. And I'm already saying Siddhi, Soham, Vaishnav. Vaishnav, yes, everyone has to register, but I think that's a one-time registration. You keep getting the reminders from Zoom. And we've got uh, Reshmi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Reshmi. Riddhi, uh, how are you guys? Uh, Really, instead of uh, jumping straight into the show, I thought I'd banter with you for a couple of minutes because um, basically I love talking, but it's a little sometimes uh, unnerving to just talk into ether. So we are good, sir, says Siddhi. That's a, such a wonderful uh, feedback. And uh, yes, good afternoon, Riddhi. And so I'm still grafting, sir. Good afternoon, so on. So tell me, guys, uh, I'm going to now uh, do this in the virtual way. I'll wave my hands over here. But what I need you to do is to share with me on the chat box a couple of things other than, of course, wishing me, which I wish you back very fondly. Um, let's, let's just give a listen to how are you guys, first of all. How is it going for you in terms of uh, the online sessions, not just with Locator, but in life, uh, everyone good, everyone well, everyone uh, seen the last of the C or the O or the whatever D word and um, everybody fit and fine, I hope. But uh, yes, tell me in the chat box because I'll know if you aren't well, you must tell me so I can wish you. And if you, we are good, sir, says Vaishnav. Actually, today we had to re-register for this meeting. Tech team, there might be just something that you want to look into, but I guess they've all re-registered, so that's not really a problem. Um, you're going to, uh, Siddhi says, we're going to college physically now. Now, isn't that fantastic after what? Two years, close on to two years, uh, one year, 11 months. And um, how is it to meet your friends? And uh, actually touch and feel, as they say, yeah, so the big lesson learned is uh, online is great. It's convenient. It's extremely instant and it's everything nice. But um, as I say, whenever I teach in college, we still over a million years, we haven't grown horns. We're still the same good old humans and the human touch is so important. It's what I'm, I, I attempt to do every Saturday with you all year after year. So now coming to the, uh, the, the, the program and what we are set to do, which is at the How To Festival 3.0, I'd like your uh, feedback now on the chat box, if you please. Um, how is it going for you on the show? Do you want any changes? Do you not want any changes? Do you want any enhancements? Do you want to... You want me to crack a few more jokes, maybe? Uh, it's going superb, says Reshmi. Soham says, excited to proceed with today's episode. I promise you a cracker of an episode. I promise you that. It's so much, so much learning. It's amazing. Um, but why should I let the proverbial cat out of the bag? Um, Soham says, it is awesome. Now, this is so uh, heartwarming to get this kind of a live uh, feedback from you guys because um, that's what we're here for, no? Ultimately, our mission at Locator, which is a platform for knowledge sharing between architect professionals and students and industry, which is the product manufacturers on the other hand, uh, as a sutradhar, so to speak, we are trying to stitch this whole thing for you. And uh, we should know along the way if we need to make some couple of iterations and all. So it's really amazing. It always is so hum. Yes, sir. It's a really good session. Now we are ready to learn again. <laughs> Anamika, hi. Welcome back. Um, by the way, welcome for the first time who are attending. Say hello to you too. See, that's very sweet of you. Usually that's me who does it all newcomers, welcome and all. But it's such a fantastic thing to have students like you on my side, welcoming others who are first time to the show. By the way, um, we've got uh, all our early bird participants sitting here. And as you know, early bird does not only mean prizes. It means early bird learners. As we also know, there is N2 cutlets, which is what you guys are, because you're logged on perfectly on time. Uh, 
Mrs. Amita Anger, who is a director at Locator, who is the chief executive in charge, and the other team members, as you know, Asha Rawat, project head. We have other new members, seniors like Ms. Bina Koshi and Kashram Kadim, and a whole team, a tech team in Smita Satpute and Ravi Rao. All of us did a little bit of uh, brainstorming. And we said that, uh, look, we need to amplify these messages to many more students. And one of the things, Mrs. Ayengar must have been uh, reaching out to you all via messages or through your coordinators, is the concept of each one get two. Simple. Marketing people, right? So each one get two simply means that you would, we would share with you a list of our regulars. And what you could do is in your college, we'll give it to you college wise. In your college, if you know there are those who are missing out on this learning, and you value them, they are your friends, then definitely ask them to spend one hour because one hour and you learn fishing and what happens? You eat for a lifetime. Uh, I'm a vegetarian by choice, so I have nothing against fish, I have nothing against anybody who's non-veg, but it's just an old proverb. So I use it and says, as we said the last time, teach, give someone fish to eat for a day, Teach them to fish, they would eat for a lifetime. So if we teach you things about building materials, products, technologies, uh, how to supervise its use, what are the tips and tricks and whatever else. So one hour, one time learning once a week, which will last you for a lifetime. So I think we need you to spread the word. We are going to specifically share, uh, I'm asking this of my team, and my, can I get an acknowledgement from somebody on the team saying, yes, send them a list college-wise of participants in the last four episodes. And uh, Siddhi, Anamika, Reshmi, Vaishnav, all of you, please go through your college list, which we share, and add and reach out. Now, if you're meeting them physically, that's even better. But otherwise, reach out to them online and share the link with them and say, hey guys, you're missing out on something, come here. It really actually is nothing more than making it all worthwhile for me and my team, because we're putting this together for you. There's so much effort going in. So why don't we get the best for everybody, at least your friends. All right, with that, I think um, we, we are ready to move forward with the show. And as yet, we will start as usual with an introduction. Thank you, Asha, as usual. You are so on top of things. And I've been told when I share screen, I should say sound, which I always forget. Too many things to do, too many comments to see, too many friends to chat with. So as always, we are now going into a quick introduction about uh, ourselves. And there are a few changes in the format today. I'm jumping straight into welcoming the students. By the way, my chat box will now, I will not be focusing on the chat. Guys, I need you to know the team will be chatting with you whilst I am focused on making the presentation and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so welcome students from the top colleges of architecture to this online festival. Does this resonate well with you? The top colleges of architecture. And uh, it's like saying just the guys from IIMs, just the guys from IITs, or just the guys from the top economic schools. You guys are the students from the top schools of architecture. So give yourself a shout. Cheer for yourself because you've worked hard to get over here. You worked even harder to get through these four or five years. And I'm sure all of this would mean a great career ahead. And who are our friends and uh, who, who's bringing all this to you? As you know, it is brought to you by Locator, who, which is the architect and designer's knowledge platform since 1995. Uh, most of you weren't born but even in that year, I'm sure. So uh, we are older than you, older and a little wiser as well. And it's presented by LIC, whom we are ever so grateful because uh, 
सब चीज के लिए फुलुस लगता है फुलुस इज एन अरेबिक वर्ड फॉर मनी एंड एल आई सी जर्नीटिकल would be amity school with all the branches bharati bharati vidya peet from pune birla institute of technology from ranchi bms college of architecture bengaluru and obviously cca from chandigarh give yourselves a shout and welcome the other colleges as well ies college of architecture mumbai itm raipur jadavpur kolkata jamia millia from new delhi Guwahati College from Guwahati, MNIT from Jaipur, NIT from Raipur, Rachna Sansad Mumbai, Prisvi College of Architecture Mumbai. Give yourselves a shout and cheers for being part of this illustrious group of colleges. And we end our welcome with the ballads in alphabetical order: R B College of Architecture from Bengaluru, S C E T from Surat. School of Planning and Architecture from Hyderabad, C. Hangard College from Pune, Sir J. J. College of Architecture from Mumbai, of course, Shushan School of Art and Architecture from Gurugram, Thakur School from Mumbai, Vaishnavi School from Hyderabad, and Watson's University School of Planning and Architecture, Hyderabad. Right? Ha! Who do we have here? Did I say getting the cat out of the bag? But this one's. this cutie is absolutely and i i'm sure there must be animal lovers amongst you because you know young children are uh, not young children but younger than me for sure uh, are all usually animal lovers and uh, this little cutie wants to give you a quick reminder by the way i've got a lot of back behind the scenes production friends and a lot of these on screen friends as well as you can see and the quick reminder is who are we what do we do for you we actually are the online material museum which is just a screenshot of the home page it's got on the blue band you can see if you navigate you'll find products you'll find green products you'll find of course the how to festival reportage on that service providers architects gallery the architects gallery has got uh, profiles of i think about 100 plus uh, leading architects so if you want a quick check you can go to google you can see a million pages or you can just get some 200 300 words and some visual images of that architects works as shared by them with us and several other things if you recall uh, there was uh, the green ebook which you could download so all this action is available to you on www.locatorindia.com and that compendium grows every day and since i haven't counted but in last week and now i stay with the products that i know there are 187 1800 individual products queues information on them and other things like technical specs contact details and more i told you about friends on the show so this little kiddy is also dying to know menu ki fayda of course a little chick like this one would want to know what am i going to be when i grow up in life and how beautiful and bright the world is but since we are on the show menu ki fayda the mk factor let's take a look tenu ki fayda there are prizes for quizzes uh repeating four all correct fastest figure first and the prize as you know is a 1000 rupee gift voucher from amazon buy what you will your pleasure and for four engagers of the day who give quality suggestions and inputs and of course chat with me and chat with yourself and really keep the whole thing lively as you can see some on the chat blurb there are some 33 comments ready the best of you would be selected to receive another four prizes of 1000 rupee amazon gift vouchers each that's not all you feel 
nerdy you want to ask questions and today if you don't ask questions it means the presenter whoever he is has done an excellent job no questions means not boring no questions means i have understood everything hey but if you want to win those four prizes ask questions and ask them uh, quick and strong really the subject matter is interesting enough for you to want to know and of course you get a certificate of participation um add this to if you already have a nice little thick pack pile of certificates put this on top because when you go in the real world you can say that you have more practical experience your knowledge of products that puts you a cut above the rest who if i remember correctly your curriculum textbook i need to mention is quite outdated as far as product knowledge is concerned product information is concerned there is of course archive for your continuing lifelong learning this would be is and would be a repository where you go and get information of what all the presenters have presented and the backup documents that they have shared so go there and get your learning in case you forgotten or you want to uh, quickly do a quick check ha have you started thinking yet thinking about a future thinking about life thinking about the origins of the universe uh thinking about uh, maybe in your lifetime we'll get to visit mars on a jaunt no have you started thinking yet because you have two weeks now left to get your innovation entry ready and that entry is not a massive portfolio where you have to do a lot of tam jam and go and make videos and uh, 3d models na nah. it's you a blank piece of paper or an on screen document you sit and you pen 150 words on a product innovation on the 24 categories that we have selected any product any innovation as long as it's original as long as it's meaningful and it's going to make a difference to the manufacturing and it will get rewarded so that and an illustration you can draw it you can give a reference picture mm, you know copy cut paste doesn't work then it's not an innovation that you've thought of but you could give a reference picture illustration or actually make it yourself wow would, wouldn't that be great so that is the competition which will come up in two weeks and you'll be shared the links which is called i wish from the locator how to festival fraternity which is a challenge for innovators exclusive competition only for students of the how to festival and in that your reward as you probably remember top ranking is a recognition of being an innovative thinker you will be plastered on all our digital media assets and a little money for jam 2500 bucks for the best 10 suggestions selected by our panel so don't forget you have two weeks and that's two weeks too many but get your entries ready could we just walk down memory lane because every show in the last four uh, three episodes we've been looking at which were the colleges and who were the engagers so why should we miss out when we go alphabetically into let's look at the winners and engagers of last year i am deliberately not giving in the names because they must be quite popular with you amongst you and your college and the colleges on today's show getting a mention are of the, those who participated last year and the winners are from rashna sansad rizvi college and rv college of architecture bengaluru so i hope this <laughs>
And of course, the questions asked, uh, the cute ones. Now, let me start from bottom right. Adiba Salima from Thakur, going up to Ritesh Chaudhary from JJ College, and uh, Kirti Walson from Bharati Vidya Peet, and Rishu Jaiswal from Thakur School. So you guys, all of you, keep, keep uh, questioning. And uh, we have the engagers of the day who were Siali Kangane from Siangar, Anamika Tauta, Kashish Garg, and Pallavi Srivastava. Am I seeing a bias? Let me just go back a couple of, uh, one, two, three girls. One, two, five. One, two, three, four. Guys, you got to buck up. That's a nine on two. I think uh, I love it that all our friends are there and winning. But I think, guys, you need to bootstrap. All right. She's back. He's back. Isn't that cute? Are you ready? And what are we saying? Are you ready for? Are you ready? Then it's time you met my twin. I'll leave you in the safe hands of my twin. Good afternoon. Happy to see me here in a different avatar. Yes, I'm here to share with you about a technological solution, or rather, let me say, a technological marvel called Kitec Composite Pipes. Let me begin with the deco we gave you in the post that was shared, and it went something on the lines of, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and just five minutes to ruin it. I have not said it. It's, said, it's attributed to no one else but Warren Buffett, the man with the Midas touch. And why is this relevant to a conversation today? Because I first of all want to get your complete and total attention. I know I always have your attention when we're on the show, but that's when I'm talking to you about your quizzes. I'm talking to you about things which are relevant to you. Similarly, take a listen and understand this product which is a technological marvel. And uh, what is it? It's all about a humble pipe. That's right. In the world of design and in the world of you know, building uh, constructions and making landmarks, the pipe which is hidden into the wall in a bathroom doesn't really jump out at you as something which is important. But that, that is the reason why we're bringing it into focus today. First and foremost, in a global macro view, with ever increasing awareness for importance of water and energy conservation, which each of your students must be absolutely seized by uh, and would like to do something about in the next 50, 60, 70 years that you're going to be on this planet, uh, conservation of water leads us to the characteristics of piping material. Because water, when it's transported, when it's stored, is taken from one location to another or within the location when it's pumped, the characteristics have changed, the requirements have changed, and the system has become very, very important. Traditionally, the kind of options which have been available have been standard, pretty much standard, and you know about them. Copper, copper, which has been a top ranking product for many years when copper was in abundance and not so expensive, it's an excellent material, but far too expensive to use in any project. Plastics, it's uh, what is a ubiquitous, it's available everywhere, but then it has its own limitations as we'll see. And then of course the good old traditional GI, which I think is about 80 to 90% of uh, earlier installations. And that's because that was the piping choice, uh, piping system of choice. This is history because they all have some limitation or the other, whether it is cost as in the case of copper or corrosion or leaching, as in the case of respectively GI and plastic pipe. Let's learn a little bit more about that. And that's why this revolutionary new system is being presented to you, which combines the features of both plastic and metal. 
So it's like a two in one, like no other pipe before. Presenting the Titec composite piping system and what is a composite pipe? What is this blend? What is this mixture of metal and plastic? Is it an amalgam? No, it isn't. It's actually a three layered pipe and in technical terms, it is five layered. There is an outer PE layer and there is an inner PE layer, PE standing for polyethylene. And in between, there is an aluminum layer. Now, the characteristics of plastic and metal are such that they would shift, they would be snug fitting. So in the extruding, extruding process, you have an adhesive layer which holds the outer P to the aluminum and the next inner adhesive layer, which holds the PE and the aluminum from the inside. So what you would see actually, if you take a cross section is a completely simple pipe, but when you expand it, you will see that it's made up of these five layers. Now, the important aspect or a feature benefit of a composite piping system is mostly that it is light because plastics generally tends to have that advantage. It's strong, which is the advantage that metal confers on it. And it does not support or uh, uh, does not help in corrosion. It resists corrosion, actually. So the PE layer, which is both in the outside and on the inside, let's take a look at what is the PE layer doing for us. Uh, as you can see, water flowing, it flows over a period of time. It comes with a whole lot of chemicals. It comes from uh, natural chemicals, added chemicals, processed chemicals, whatever it is. And it might even be simple things like chlorine, which is induced, introduced into water. They all corrode metal. And slowly but surely the metal corrodes. And that's one of the key problems that we see in metal pipes. The PE layer being a plastic, there is total resistance to corrosion. It's chemically inert. Above all, it has a smooth surface. So the flow properties are much better. More about this in a minute. So then if that's what's happening with the PE layer, what happens with the adhesive layer? Bond himself, pun intended. The adhesive layers are the following functions. To perfectly bond the metal to plastic, to absorb the eventual shifting, which I talked about, between plastic and metal because there's two different uh, substances altogether and to give the composite pipe the advantages of a single component pipe. Now, then what's the role of the metal pipe? So we, if you recall quickly, there's PE and there's metal and there's PE inside. The metal pipe is the one which ensures absolute tightness, mechanical resistance to deformation, and it also allows dilation within reasonable limits because when you're having some temperature changes, that the pipe should have the ability to dilate, but all within reasonable limits. Feel like going to the gym? Well, this would be a lot heavier than a composite piping system because they are strong and lightweight, but they are engineered in such a way that they're extremely lightweight. In fact, a 100 meter coil of a half inch dire, 12 mm ID, water service pipe weighs just 10 kilos. What that means is a, a sanitation worker can just hang it on his shoulder and literally climb up to wherever, especially if the building is under construction and there are no lifts, they can take this easily and that's a full 100 meter length. The other advantage is that the kytec pipe won't leach like other metallic ions. Uh, so the quality of water drinking is assured and the service life is better. Leaching is something which happens when the plastic is not inert and it has um, doesn't have the same composition as some of these performance plastics. Then it leaches into the water, which is also harmful other than spoiling the taste. That is why a composite piping system like Kitec is portable water certified. And this means that the PE, which is a food grade certified, uh, substance and it can supply the water up to and even inside the building without it getting contaminated. Now, where does, I'd like to take a second to tell you about water contamination. 
where does contamination really take place? Contamination takes place either if the outside dirty polluted water has access to the inside of the pipe, and mostly it is from the joints, jointing system, which over a period of time get corroded and loosen up, and that's how there is an exchange of the uh, impure water into your pure water, which comes from the municipality. It's perfect. You can you can test it and it's perfect, but we would hesitate to drink it off the tap, and that's the reason why bottled water is so omnipresent. This exchange also happens in other places, which I'll cover in a minute. So remember, for your water transport to be completely portable, you need a piping system like a composite piping system, which is 100 meters, 300 feet, that is, joint free. And that joint free ensures there is no missing of the outside with the inside. I'm going to take a quick break here. Whilst I come back and quiz you on what I just shared with you, and then I shall come back for part two. I was just saying, how did you like my twin? His name coincidentally happens to be the same, uh, Ramesh Iyengar. So yeah, that was me playing a, a role of a brand share from Kitech. It's a brand I'm very fond of. And I was requested to by the management. And I said, like, that will be with great pleasure. Now it's time for us to get quizzical. And let's get quizzical. Do you remember the song? Maybe way ahead of your generation. But uh, check it up on Spotify. It's quite a thumpy number. Let's get quizzical, etc, etc, etc. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. As usual, you know, the quiz links are pasted in the chat box. Go ahead. You should find it and you can open it uh, right now and answer these two questions. Quiz question number one. The role of the adhesive layer is to, what are your options? Bind three metal and plastic layers. Make the metal and plastic layers into one. Absorb the eventual shifting movements between the metal and plastic layers and allow flexibility and bending in between the metal and plastic layers. What do you think is the correct answer? Fastest finger, hit the right answer whilst you move on to question two. And you obviously are doing it, sharing it on the quiz link that has been posted on the chat box. Quiz question number two, being a 100 meter coil of half inch, that's 12 MMID, it's probably the most widely used, uh, pipe, kinetic water pipe, uh, service pipe weighs. Your four options are five kgs, 10 kgs, 15 kgs, and 50 kgs. So, Get the right answer and get yourself something that you can be proud of. So we got a lot of friends and these, this animal world is replete. And here's this little foxy saying, want to go, come, go some back for some more learning? Then let me get out of my twins' way. Hi, glad to be back playing two roles today. So there's also been a quick change, as you can see. Um, let's pick up from where we left off. What happens to metal pipes over a period of time, other than the fact that we talked about corrosion, there is a whole lot of scale buildup. Scale buildup happens because of, you know, minerals like calcium carbonate and so on and so forth, which then actually, like the arteries in a heart, bad example, bad analogy, but exactly that way, the scale builds up within the pipe and the flow rates get affected. Flow rates getting affected means, you know, the uh, calibration goes wrong, the pressure of the system changes, so many things that go wrong with it. Uh, flow rates and high flow rates are essential in any process. Therefore, larger inside diameters than polyethylene piping, which is what the composite piping has, 
it has a smooth, super smooth interior wall. So there is actually, there is no porosity. Microscopically, if you see, there is no holes, pin holes, which keep building the scale. This is super smooth and it offers the best flow rates in the industry because of lack of buildup of calcium and other minerals. Let's take a look at one other interesting uh, feature benefit. Kytex tough inner and outer PE layers resist most acids, salt solution, and alkalis, which are found in aggressive water and soil environments. So what this means is you could bury the pipe, which otherwise you would need to have trenching, you would need to have it um, you know, finished, and then you need to cover it up, ducting as we call it. But you bury the kytic pipe directly in the ground, or you can encase it in concrete without the need for any protective screening. This is a big saving in cost, in time. So overall, there are project benefits. And because it's not a, it's a joint free system, all of these advantages force multiply over time. Yes, we're talking about permeation barrier being one other important attribute of this product. Permeation is a real issue with small diameter service piping. Unlike plastic water service piping, which is susceptible to permeation, Kytex built in aluminum. Now the metal part uh, comes into play. It does not, it serves as a barrier against ground source contamination, something we have spoke about in a couple of slides ago. And what is this? What is this remarkable thing? It looks like scrap, but on the other hand, Kytex being a composite pipe and it's got plastic and metal link, there is zero scrap value. So you would imagine, that, oh my God, it won't fetch me anything from the Bangarwala, precisely. What happens is there won't be pilferage of this pipe, which by the way is a very common occurrence when pipes are exposed. When they see gleaming copper, you can be sure that that's going to be pilfered by somebody who wants a few thousand rupees and or other metal pipes as well. So it has zero scrap value. And curvy pens, easy handling. Kyrie pipe can literally be a roll can be opened down and leaves, or it can be bent, goosenecks and bends to any shape. It stays in shape. Just imagine this in a bathroom scenario where the piping, you have to do chasing, you have to embed the pipe, which obviously are rigid, and therefore there's all the time which is spent in, invested in measurement and threading and fitting, and it doesn't fit, so it has to be re-threaded and recut and huge amount of project time saving because this pipe is just taken, is bent around corners, put in its casing and filled up with mortar and you're done for no leakages virtually for 50 years. Easy handling. Kytec comes conveniently packaged in long coils. This is what I mentioned. There are no joints overcoming the hassling. Hassles also which we know in metal and plastic, you always get six meter length uh, metal pipes. And therefore, whatever is the enders which are cut, there's a huge amount of wastage. That doesn't happen in the case of Kytec composite pipes. To make this whole system work, obviously there is a beginning to a pipe and an end. They have to fit. So you cannot have anything which is without a fitting, but engineers at Kytec have developed a range of fittings which are perfect brass fittings which are engineered but literally without adhesive without sutri without uh, any taping it actually locks in and it's air locked and that's exactly the way the systems get tested with compressed air and uh, these high performance range of fittings are there for every size every application so there you are uh, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've seen quite a technology revolution in pipes. As I began by saying, it's a humble pipe, but then it can do tremendous amount of damage to a designer's reputation because conventional pipes, especially in, in embedded in walls in the bathroom and other applications in a project, can lead to leakages and the leakage is usually is attributed to the piping which is avoided in other projects there are all the dangers of 
leaching or add mixing from the outside that is avoided it's lightweight so there is on the construction there's a saving of time and labor it's uh, joint free and so the lengths are up to 100 meters do i need to repeat all of that probably not so i'm going to leave you with a couple of uh, inputs about the applications for these composite piping system it ranges from plumbing obviously hot and cold water plumbing diesel pe petrol kerosene so if you're designing a petrol bunker this is a pipe that you would want to keep in mind because of a three layer five layer and three metal plastic combination which would be pretty much the gold standard in transporting diesel petrol kerosene air conditioning fuel oil lines solar heating cable conduits submersible water piping compressed air systems the application list is quite endless jet pump piping natural gas distribution refrigerant systems food and chemical processing radiator central heating vacuum systems underfloor heating and insecticide spray so what it means is you've got a range of applications so your takeaway from this session on the how to festival would be if we were looking for a piping solution you're going to choose one which has the best advantages combining both plastic and metal so kind of composite pipes combine the best features of metal and plastic to satisfy requirements of any modern plumbing system with that let me say thank you from team kitech on and behalf of the team and this is me signing off for now to see you on the other side to once again quiz you on what i shared bye bye well friends how was that did that add to your repository your knowledge and um, did you get some value out of it let me know i'd love to see your comments on the chat box and of course we are now going to our traditional second part of the quiz because it's quiz time again let's see what the balance to questions have for you quick reminder for those who are new those who don't know look in the chat box you'll see a link for part b use that the quiz is open for only 5 minutes quiz question number 3 kitek composite piping fittings what are they are they designed to work in tandem with kitek pipes are they a mix of brass pe and other materials or do they come in specific sizes to match kitek pipes or does it ensure a perfect lock fit that eliminates the use of tape etc very simple question very complex answers but if you were giving a listen to what i said my twin said i don't think you would get it wrong question number 4 how does kitek piping system prevent permeation and contamination a your option the built in aluminum core creates a permeation barrier b the outer pe and inner pe creates a permeation barrier c the five layers work together to create a barrier and d the concrete trench with pipe inside creates a barrier va wow. those who are authoring these answers think they are going to confuse you but my bright students i think confused you shall not be because you heard from me and you know what is the right answer with that moving on to thank our our uh, very very strong uh, sponsor partners and you know who they are take a listen to what they have even for you guys guys kal meri nayi bike aa rahi hai great tab to i will come with rohan every day insurance hai tujhe kya lagta hai insurance pc sab kuch hai i was talking about life insurance for sia oh. <laughs> jokes apart guys but aaj maza kal saza nahi honi chahiye yeah seriously life insurance to zaruri hai lic ka new jeevan anand deta hai double fayda majority pe mile full payment aur life cover chale zindagi bhar ए हेलो इंश्योरेंस है क्या राइट गोइंग ऑन टू द क्यू एंड ए सेक्शन व्हिच इज ऑन अ ट्विन शेयर बेसिस हाउ डू यू लाइक दैट मी एंड माय ट्विन आर गोइंग टू बी ऑन स्क्रीन 
and we are going to take the questions that you have so um, readily put up in the box. One more reminder for everyone, as you know, questions come galore. Siddhi was asking, can everybody see my questions? Siddhi, it's a live show, so we want to keep the suspense up, and therefore you'll appreciate, if you put it in a chat box, to me, what is it? And what is it? What is it? What is it? Why do I have to ask questions? Why do I have to give answers? Or any other brand champion for that matter. So what we do in our show is keep the suspense, keep the interest going. We take the questions off the Q&A box and quickly the team curates questions which will lend itself a good answering on the show. But one promise, all questions asked with the authors of that question will be featured on archive with the right, right answers. Siddhi, does that make sense? Does that work for you? I think it's a thora, thora rakhna chahiye, life mein, hai na? Yes, sir, she says, and therefore, uh, on with the very first question, Siddhi, and it's from you. I can imagine why you were keen to know whether your questions were being seen in a public domain. And that's because you're saying, what is the maintenance for this material in case they need it? It's a double-edged question. Do they need maintenance? And if they do, what is it? I think the answer is in your question. It is virtually maintenance free. Nothing in life is maintenance. I mean, free, free, free. Nothing in life is zero defect. But these, this product is built. It's an engineered product. And therefore, for as long as is the life of the two materials. And if you have buried it in the ground and you've even encased it in a concrete sleep, pretty much don't have anything to worry about. GI pipes, if you know, also have a good life. And the only problems ensue with time. But this does not happen even with composite piping. Even those problems don't ensue with time. So the answer to your question is virtually no maintenance. And uh, that's all. But there is a related question, which was like, uh, which was asked by, uh, I, I had the question over here. You see, this is what happens when you're, you're a twin who's talking to each other. Right. Kirti Valsan, your question uh, bears an answer. What is the life of these pipes? And after it is damaged, how can these pipes be reused or disposed safely without causing harm to the environment? Uh, it's a very simple answer. They don't get damaged unless you ride a truck over it in an open condition. Even then, I believe because of the flexibility, uh, it manages to withstand quite a bit of the pressure. But let's say there is some mechanical injury due to somebody's uh, digging and uh, didn't have the pl plan with them and all of those things. It's a very simple solution. You just cut the portion which is damaged. So you don't have to relay the entire length of pipe. And that portion you can rejoin in the same exact same way as all uh, kinetic pipes jointed. And uh, voila. So if it's one foot damage, if it's two, it's three, it's five, replace that. And it can be disposed of uh, environment consciously in the way you would dispose of any plastic. Okay, so that's the answer to your question, Kirti. And then we have Vaishnav Kadam who's asking us, what is the operating temperature range of your composite piping systems? They range, I would not give it to you exactly, but it goes to beyond 150 degrees centigrade. So it's a process, uh, in a process industry, you can completely use it. In um, you know residential and commercial application, it manages the whole temperature ranges with the breeze, and it even goes to freezing point, and it does not crack. So that those are some of the advantages of composite pipe piping system. Anamika says, "What will the thickness of the material be in kite pipe?" It's a. Uh, I'm not going to go into the specific microns. I will put it up on the archive later on. But it's same as any conventional pipe. In fact, it could be thinner for certain diameters. Uh, shall we take two more questions? Siddhi, your other question is, does, do these fittings need skilled workers for implementation or any plumbing worker can handle this work? I think it's an excellent question which needs a proper answer. Training is important, but their nationwide network Dealers manage the training one time, like I'm teaching you one time, they are told, I can just show you how it is, how easy it is, but it still needs training. 
you take a pipe, you cut it, you chamfer the edges and keep it ready for jointing. You take the other end, the other pipe end, chamfer that and you keep that ready. And then you have a brass fitting. Let's say it's a coupling. You just lock it in and you lock it in from this side and then your entire system is ready for testing with compressed air, which uh, is the clearance test. And uh, usually it saves tremendous amount of labor because you can imagine with 100 meter, you can go around, you know, let's say it's a project like a five-star hotel. Very, very quickly, the, the uh, plumbing can be achieved. And don't forget, because it's joint-free virtually, you don't have leakages. So for all these advantages, training is important, but it's just as I mentioned, it's as easy as that. And one time we learned, there are some tools which are given by the dealer on how to uh, cut it. So there's a cutting tool, there's a chamfering tool. All of these are obviously any responsible brand would like to do for its users. So, well, I think uh, we've done pretty good with some questions. Shall we take another one more? By the way, my twin is asking the question of uh, Soham Vishwakarma. My question, I'm reading it for the first time, so I'll also be thinking the answer. My question arises by looking at the lens of bottle line. Can we Kitech pipe for residential and small business application? I know PEX piping is a flexible pipe. It's more popular in residential. How can Kitech help? It's very simple. Uh, Soham, when the pipe was launched 25 years ago, because obviously uh, low volumes and new product interaction, etc., it was 2x the cost of conventional pipes. So you had a GI installation and you had a composite piping installation. So there were only premium users and especially consultants who knew the importance of such a piping system. So you had hospitals, you had hotels, and you had uh, you know, uh, airports and installations like that going into this because they knew the advantages and the standards laid down were such that they had to comply. And uh, they did not want to take a chance with any other metal pipes because of the obvious uh, disadvantages. And uh, over the journey of these years, it's now come on par. So yes, it is usable even, so I think somebody else had asked, can it be used by lay customers in their bathrooms? Absolutely. The cost benefit is, when you look at it, the cost of implementation, the piping material is the same. There's a huge saving in labor. Let me tell you, the plumber doesn't like it very much because so those issues are there, they are marketing challenges. But as far as the product is concerned, it doesn't have any problem because it is common rated with other solutions. Okay, folks, all of that is well and done. I think where are we going? Students who have registered will get a reminder. What is this, Asha? Students who have registered will get a reminder Zoom webinar links for each episode. And you need to join the episode via this link. So what Asha, our dear uh, head of production, is uh, saying to us is, I think the initial questions, uh, do we need to register? No, you don't need to register every time. You register once, but for each show, there's a separate link which is sent to you in your mailbox. So kindly use the respective one and you'll be connected. All right. So with all that, let's get on. What's next, Asha? You want, to, you want me to stop sharing and uh, you're on, right? Announcing the winners of today, Asha. Are we ready? Is this is this the list? The top 10 entrants? Oh, wow. Can I start, start from the bottom because this is in no particular order? Let's do it in reverse order. Jignesh Pandey. Suchanda Banerjee. Bhavi Vora. Siddhi Sangai. Sunni Dhya Singh. Jaina Jasha. New names. Aniket, Kirti Vanshikta, Vanshika, I'm sorry, pardon, Anamika Thota and Vaishnav Kadam. This order is, yes, Anamika, congrats to everyone. Are you, I'm seeing you on the chat box. Are you interested in knowing who's the winner of the four? Vouchers? Yes, she says. Okay, the winners are Kirti Vanshika, Sanidhya Singh, Sanidhya Singh, Bhavi Bora, and Jignesh Pandey. So what, what you guys did is to probably do some finger exercises, maybe. Mm -hmm. So you got it right, and you also were there 
in fastest. Congratulations, everyone. I think it's time to give you a deco into what's up next week. Next week is extremely interesting. We're going to be looking at security solutions. And this is coming from the experts at Godrej Security uh, Solutions. And it's going to cover you know, the interesting aspect of how you can plan for security rather than think of it as an afterthought. And if in that case, what do you do? What are the products available at your disposal? What are the advantages of using a particular technology versus another? And all of these matters would be explored by the experts at Godrej Security Solutions. And that is next Friday, uh, next Saturday, 19 February at 12 noon. Yes, Anamika, it is another interesting session, but your, you guys must promise me one thing. We need more of your friends because this knowledge is invaluable. Yes, it will be put up on our Facebook group and on YouTube and they can always catch up. But how many videos have you gone and seen other than uh, feature films, which you would like to see again? It becomes a bit tiring. You have other things to do. Whereas if you're sitting here with me for an hour and you get these experts talking to you, you ask questions, you ask of each other and you get answers and you learn in 20 minutes of something very complex. I think it's, it's something your friend should know. Leaving it to you, each one get to is a good way to say. And uh, Asha, is there some uh, reminder that you are, uh, what happened exactly a year ago? I have it here with me. What happened exactly a year ago? Asha, what happened exactly a year ago? We all celebrated Valentine's Week on this very platform, if you remember. Yeah, so we're doing much the same this time. Wishing you a happy Valentine's Day, my friends. I would request, if possible, uh, Mrs. Amita Iyengar to come on camera. Asha, if you can do that. Bina, Koshi, if you can do that. KK, if you can join in on camera. Uh, Smita, if you can. Ravi Rao, uh, there are so many others, but those who are with us, happy Valentine's Day. Let's see you all on camera looking nice and pretty. No, we cannot. So, uh, uh, your cameras. Okay, you want to come here? Come on here, no problem. That's good, good. Come on, come here if you should. Asha, come along here. Guys, so you're going to see some of my team members. Give them a shout, wave out to them, and uh, go crazy on chat because these are the people who have actually made all this learning possible. And uh, here you are, the first and okay, you don't have to get ready for my team. You all look pretty. That, folks, is good work team. Mohammed Zahir Abidi says that's Amita Iyengar in the blue. That's she waving. Come on, come on, come on. This is Asha Rawat. Guys, hello, everyone. Siddhi says, thank you, team. Look at her. This is Bina Koshi. And sir, we can't see you. No, no, you'll see me. Don't worry. And that's Kashiram Tadam. Screen is frozen. Hello, everyone. And here it is. and have a great one, enjoy yourself, and be seeing you soon, next week, same time, same place. Love you all, do get your friends to participate. Till then, cheers and adios.